Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us now continue from where we ended. Alright, so before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Alright, so in part B2, it says when uh, casium metal is reacted with water, there is a rise in temperature. Okay, so the first part says, how would you detect the rise in temperature? Alright. So basically, we can detect the rise in temperature by using a thermometer, but we just can't say using a thermometer just like that. Now, what we need to do is to shed more light with our answer. So we can detect the rise in temperature by measuring the temperature before and after the reaction using our term, thermometer. So uh, we we'll say by measuring the temperature. before and after the reaction start the reaction by using the famous guy called the thermometer all right so bear with me my handwriting is not that smooth because of the pen i'm using to write on the screen all right, so um, that's the case. So by measuring the temperature before and after the reaction by using a thermometer. Now they're saying what type of reaction takes place. Now this reaction is causing a rise in temperature. So any reaction that causes a rise in temperature is regarded to be an exothermic reaction. Remember, an exothermic reaction is a reaction that involves a releasing of energy. Okay, so you are releasing energy from a certain source, causing an increase in temperature in the surrounding, that is. So the type of reaction that we have is simply exothermic reaction. Like that. All right, now it says, give a reason for your answer in A part two above. Now, the reason is simple, it's because heat energy is given out so we said because heat energy is given out causing the rise in temperature all right so b says potassium is found in the same group of the periodic table as casium uh compare the reaction of the two metals with water okay so since they're found in the same group with uh, potassium, uh, according to the reactivity, uh, the reactivity of these same elements, you'd find that uh, calcium will react more vigorously as compared to what, uh, potassium. All right, so calcium reacts more vigorously yeah uh, funny thing is that vigorously in bemba feet all right uh let's be mindful of that i hope there is also another question that involves the reactivity series so that you can easily understand why calcium reacts more vigorously with water than potassium so that's the answer there now give a reason for your answer above because what you need to understand that is that other than just the reactivity series of elements, you'd find that if you look at the particular group, alkali metals will have a reactivity that will increase as you go down the group. So as you are going down, the reactivity series would do what? Increase. And that's the reason why this element will react more vigorously than what potassium so the reason is simply alkali metals reactivity increases as you go down the group all right hope it's clear okay thanks for watching 
Let's move on to the second question. Should be the third to be precise. All right, so remember, hit that like button and subscribe.